Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So it's Monday morning today, and after uh, we saw a slight pump in the cryptocurrency space on Saturday, it has corrected slightly over the last couple of days. Uh, Bitcoin still hovering over $4,000, which is a good sign. Ethereum, 139.64, XRP, 0.316, and their respective changes in percentage. Um, the cryptocurrency market gained, I think it was something like $10 billion. In a 24-hour period, it was hovering around $140 billion. Up from 130 billion only 24 hours prior. I think I read that somewhere, so don't quote me on that. Also, Bitcoin dominance is slowly um, sliding further down, which is good because we know that alts are gaining a bit of momentum. The money is being spread around a bit. Uh, more people are feeling confident about certain altcoins. And so this is all great news. But the question we always keep asking ourselves in this market is why is XRP not doing as well? as cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, whatever. We're all holding XRP. We know that XRP has real world utility. It's the best digital asset. Guys, why isn't it moving in the same way as something like Litecoin, for example, right? Litecoin is doing amazing. Litecoin right now uh, is, is probably one of the best performing cryptocurrencies, I think, in the space. And we can attribute Litecoin's success uh, in part to the Venezuelan crisis and how the government was uh, actually telling their people, look, here's a platform where you can buy Bitcoin and Litecoin. We saw a bit of a surge in both those cryptocurrencies at that time. I have a feeling Litecoin did a bit better because, strictly because it was the cheaper cryptocurrency, right? You have a country of people who are in crisis and they don't know what to do with their money and their government saying, here's a platform where you can buy cryptocurrency, so convert your currency into crypto and they have a thousand dollars let's say and they're like well i can buy a quarter of a bitcoin or i can buy just over 16 litecoin which one am i going to buy i mean the optics uh, the perception that you're actually getting more cryptocurrency uh, is obviously evident there so i think that litecoin did well for that reason partially uh, it is spurring on a bit of a move in the cryptocurrency space so th this is litecoin on a daily as you guys know uh, i'll just look at uh, bitcoin again and okay, so there is some movement upwards. Overall, we've seen some uh, a positive trend up. Ethereum, right, USD, and we're looking at Ethereum and it looks similar to Bitcoin there. And of course, XRP, a little more flat than the others, but guys, there is no need to worry. And the reason I say that is because we've got to understand cryptocurrencies have their own jam, have their own investors, and have their own reasons why they will move. I'm just going to take a look at some of the numbers here. So the top cryptos over the last three months, and actually this title is uh, a little misleading. They're not the top cryptos. They aren't the, the, the highest gainers. I just, uh, here, I'll just put some cryptos over the last three months, just because I wanted to take a look at specifically the, um, oh, that's why I wrote that, because they're the top cryptos in the market cap. So Bitcoin, over the last three months, ap approximately, so from December 16th to March 17th, I did these numbers yesterday, Bitcoin went from about 3,300 to about uh, just over 4,000, and it gained 23.4%. Ethereum went from 86.56 to 141.89, and it gained 63.9%. Uh, XRP went from 0.293 to 0.322, and it gained 9.9%. And Litecoin went from 26.12 to 62.20, uh, gaining 138.1%. And that's over three months. So the first point I want to just show you guys is that we have been slightly bullish over the last three months. That is a good sign for the entire space. And taking a look at these numbers, you got to remember, right? Litecoin, what kind of news have we heard about Litecoin recently other than the Venezuelan piece? Uh, not too much. I mean, there is some news floating around, but ultimately Litecoin, I don't do too much research on Litecoin, so I don't know. Maybe I'm completely incorrect about this, but it doesn't seem like there's much going on in the space. Please, somebody tell me if you are a huge Litecoin fan in the comments, if there is more that I should be knowing about Litecoin before I make this sweeping statement. Nevertheless, Litecoin's up over 100%. And who would have thought that? Uh, six months ago, even, who would have thought that six months down the road, we would see a Litecoin surge of 138%? Nobody would right? And this is just all because the factors that are influencing these price movements are kind of neither here nor there. Any coin could kind of do anything at any point based on uh, factors A, B, and C, right? In this case, it was the Venezuelan thing, I think, boosting the prices of Litecoin and Bitcoin. Ethereum is following, XRP lagging behind at 9.9. .9. Does this mean that XRP is an inferior digital asset? Absolutely not, guys. So let's not fear. We know the team that will influence XRP's performance. Performance, Ripple. Not only Ripple, the Spring Initiative. 
people building on the XRP ledger. Okay, the price today does not dictate XRP's value. And just to put it all into perspective, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of this math here. So how many cents would XRP have to increase to catch up to some of these coins? And when you put this into perspective, uh, it kind of puts your mind at ease a little bit because we got to remember at just over 32 cents, XRP is still a cheap enough digital asset that it can really move really fast by not even jumping up that much in price. And what I mean by that is that it is a lot easier for a coin to go from 30 cents to 60 cents and make a 100% increase rather than a coin going from $3,500 to $7,000, making that same 100% of its value. So if you put $10,000 into XRP at 30 cents and it went to 60 cents, it would be worth $20,000. If you put that same $10,000 into Bitcoin at 3,500, my guess is that it would take a lot longer for it to go to $7,000 to make up that same 100%. So although we're lagging behind a little, uh, I think overall we shouldn't worry. So how many cents would XRP have to increase to catch up? And I did the math on this. So for all you guys that love the math videos, this is a shout out to you. I know Bill wants to see some more math videos. So here we go, BTC. So if XRP were to have to catch up to Bitcoin, um, gaining 23.4%, the price of XRP currently is at roughly 32 cents-ish, 32.2. I did the calculations based on 32.2. What would it have to go to? Well, realistically, it would only have to reach 37 cents. That's right, only a five cent gain. Uh, and so that would bring XRP to uh, a 26.3% increase approximately. I just kind of gave approximate numbers here. Uh, what about Ethereum? So Ethereum's up 63.9% in the last three months. What would the price of XRP have to be in order to catch up to Ethereum? It would only have to go to 0.485 cents, okay? And that would make it have a 65.5% increase. These numbers aren't huge. It's not like they're, it's not like we've even breached a dollar yet. Okay, so what about Litecoin? In order to catch up to Litecoin's 138.1%, what would the price of XRP have to be? What do you guys think off the top of your head? Just put it in the comments right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'll give you a fair five second warning. Another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. One, no cheating, no calculators. Okay, so in order for XRP to catch up to Litecoin at 138.1%, do you think it would have to go over a dollar? No, it wouldn't even. It would only have to hit 70 cents, okay? And that would be for a gain of approximately 138.9%. And so guys, I've plotted out these uh, plot points here on a chart. And just to kind of give you some perspective, so in order for XRP, so this is XRP on a daily, in order for XRP to match Bitcoin's price increase, it would have to hit 37 cents. As we know, this could be easily done in a day. Uh, as you can see from some of these volume bars, uh, XRP can hit this price target in a day for sure. Ethereum, it would have to hit uh, 0.485 cents. So that would be this target here. And as you can see, actually, interestingly enough, these targets actually hit resistance levels in the current XRP chart. So this would be 40, 0.485 cents XRP would need to hit in order to match Ethereum's percentage gain over the last three months. And Litecoin up here, 0 0.70 cents. And even Litecoins hits this top level here on this day when XRP uh, was, was moving base on spec. And that was the time for XRP and I'm sure a lot of people in other cryptocurrency communities were like well why is XRP moving so high well if you follow the news you'd know that this was the X rapid announcement right before that so just to put things into perspective guys uh, when you feel like your coin hasn't moved as much as other coins don't get frustrated don't worry too much because we know and we have seen in the past that even to match Litecoin's 138 plus percent gain XRP has done that. I mean, it went from 25-ish cents or 27 cents, and it beat that in one, two, three, four days based on just some good news, guys. So we know it has the potential to move. We know it's capable of doing that. Let's not perseverate on the prices because I know XRP will catch up eventually. That's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.